right. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, Sean. This is a big moment for me. The yeah. bisque is coming out. Right, right. I'm just see. checking it's cool. I'll just check the temperature and see if it's dropped. So you, after yes. it's cooked, you've got 24 hours you left it, right? Yeah. And it's just uh, after it knocked off. Yeah, it's it's, it's well done. No, it's. Uh, and this is the cooked the clay, and that's called a bisque. Is that right? It is. Yeah, it's still slightly larger than what it will be because it's not been up to 1200 yet. It's been only to 11, but it's it's actually turned to ceramic now from right. from clay. The magic has happened. Let's have a look. And it's changed colour. Wow! It's completely anyway. different. Is it hot? Touch it, no. Oh, no, no, no. Room temperature, you can lift it out now. Can I lift it out? Me? <laughs> That's fantastic. Amazing. It, it looks just like Gauguin. It's just like the pot. It's amazing. Good. Now we just gotta. Just hold it by the hand and see if the handle comes off. No, no you can drink beer it's from there. Workable. Just got to glaze it. Is that got to it? glaze it. Another firing up to twelve hundred. Leave it for another day, and then that's the end of it. It's finished. Well, let's get it done. Let's go and glaze it. Okay, you take it. Go. I'll close the kiln. And we'll get it glazed. So pleased with it. Yeah, it's come out all okay. Yeah. Pleased with the colour of the clay. Yeah, it's completely different. Yeah. So, why is it called a bisque? Do you know? Oh, uh, I think it's like French biscuit, probably just like a biscuit, uh, where crumbly, uh, low fire, probably. Yeah. So, this is the basic thing now. That's done. It's finished. Yeah. But the the next process is the one that really kind of makes it, isn't it? Glazing. Brings it to life. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the yeah. glazing. Yeah. So what? exactly is glazing what, what is it What's well, it's virtually really just powdered glass usually lead these, these are lead free the modern the modern glaze i i only use lead free you now i say health and safety and what have you right. i think in gorgon's time they'd be heavily leaded and highly toxic pottery was one of the most dangerous occupations you could do mm. if you go to stoke on trent the graveyards are they all all in the, the victorian all in the 40s and 50s and all 78 years old virtually every stage of potting was toxic in those days so, so the, these are lead free. It's, it's, it's like virtually a powdered glass in, in, in a, a suspension with uh, metal oxides to colour it. Like. Well, I remember the last time we did something together. The, the thing that surprised me about glazes is that you cannot tell the colour from the glaze, can you? Absolutely. I mean, in other words, that looks pink, but so, sort of. Yeah, this, this is a red glaze. It does have a bit of a pinkish hue, but generally they, they, you can't really tell. They all kind of a pale greenish, greyish, brownish, white. And the colour only develops as they fire and turn into actual glaze. And does the glaze change depending on the heat? In other words, if oh, you... it does. Yeah, red is very susceptible to overfiring. If you overfire it, it goes like a dark blue. Yeah. So you've got to be careful. And just like ten degrees can make a difference. Like one thousand one hundred and sixty to one thousand one eighty is twenty degrees difference, and your red can fade from red to, to blue just just like that. So yeah. the, the reds are the most difficult to get. Right. So as I remember this, because obviously you know, we filmed it in, in Copenhagen, mm. I mean it's brown mostly, Yeah. but with kind of green yeah, tinge. The, the brown will be the, the, the clay showing through, when you glaze it, it'll look darker Right. when it's under the glaze. So around the brown areas here, it will be clear glaze, yeah. mixed with a bit of green, then green more intense to the centre, and the blood runs obviously in red. Yeah, and the blood's the weird bit, the yeah. strange thing to do on a pot, isn't it? Absolutely, with a yeah, severed head, I suppose there'd be a lot of blood, wouldn't there? Yeah, there would be. Right, well, well, well get on with you it. ready? Should we do the glazing? Yeah, well, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to paint the, the red glaze on, right, in the streaks, mostly, and then paint the clear and the green around it, because if I paint it on top of the green, it kind of takes a life out of the red, it looks like a dull and dead. So right. I put the, put the red on and then have to so paint. So put the blood on it's first. A, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a faff to put, and then I have to paint the green and the clear around it. Well, that's the only real way. Right, shall we get the blood on? Yeah, yeah. Bloody him up. So this has to go on first, because uh, otherwise it not, it's not red enough if it's mixed with the other glaze. Is that uh, right? Exactly, yeah, that, that's the idea. There's like a, a run in there. And also we need to put about three coats of it on. You can't just do it in one coat. So we're kind of running the blood down. It would run naturally. Try and make yeah. it a little bit, a little bit natural. So we're going over here. Now it's very thick down here. His signature. So we're going to have to 
blob it on here and hope it just doesn't run too far. I'll have a little bit of green mixed in here and there so it won't want to. I'm going to try and mm. run it down. It must be tricky imagining, it's not so much painting it in the right place, but just imagining where the colour's going to change like that. Yeah. Because you're envisaging it in red, but you're painting this sort of fuchsia pinky. Yeah, colour. this is the thing, yeah. It's just, you've got to use a, quite a lot of imagination. And a lot of it is experience with, with glazing. You kind of, if you've done others, you, you know roughly how much you've put on when it's going to look right, the thickness and what have you. It's one of my mistakes, really. Uh, that's good, that's a happy accident, you see, it just blobbed on there. Mm. Big drip, it could have gone wrong, but it didn't do. It's always good to see a bit more blood. Mm. Right, we'll get the nostrils full. Oh, the blood in the nose. The more I look at this, though, the stranger it is as a work of art. Mm. It's just so loaded with some intense personal meaning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll kind of melt and it'll run a little bit and mixing with the other colours. Mm. So we've done it a little bit thicker on there. So each one of these, so if you're making this addition of ten of them, mm. each one will be different. Because uh, absolutely, yeah. You know, yeah. Even Gorgon, he couldn't, he couldn't get two exactly the same. It's just hand, hand painted. It's impossible. Yeah. We'll let that dry for a minute. I, I could really do with getting my hair dry to, to dry it so I don't smudge it. Right. We we'll could do the uh, in. Well, I think we'll glaze the inside first of all. Okay. We'll do that with clear and green. You see a lot of brown around the top, so that'll be working clear glazed, and you've yeah. just seen the clay body underneath. So this is clear glaze. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loads of it. I just like patch it on. Lop it on. Oh yeah, inside. Just in, in patches here and there first of all. Yeah. But I remember the inside of this is really beautiful. Hmm. Better to work from the top down rather than the bottom, so you get, you get the, the natural drips and the runs going down into the pot. So, so what's the hardest glazing that you've had to do? Uh, I think the glaze like on Chelsea ware in like 18th century, so it's so very fine, so very thin, but so glassy, it's, it's difficult to apply to get it to look like the real thing. You've got to mix a little bit of cobalt in it because they have like a, a very, very slight bluish tinge in the glaze, mm. and that's really hard to, to mimic. I'm just making sure I've covered every little spot inside it so there's no ball patches. <laughs> I don't want just like you, yeah, that's it. <laughs> right. That's the inside done. We'll have to let that dry. So you can see like it's all gone like marble effect. Yeah, you can, it's lovely. You can like pour it around a little bit. The, the glaze that's pulled in the bottom. Mm. I think we can get on with the, uh, I think we'll get the handle done next. Mm. And that is mostly green, I've, I've noticed. There's not a lot of clear into the green so. And there will be some red on this as well, of course. But... Again, very kind of freehand thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. It's sort of messy, but that's uh, so it's just that's, the way it's just the way it is. Oh, you can't feel really. it. Yeah. On the old two brush approach, one in each hand. Mm. Yeah, I'll swap them over. That's the danger. <laughs> you know, stick it in the wrong pot. But with this, with this, it really doesn't matter very much. It won't be, a, it won't be a disaster. But yeah. better if it doesn't. It's not a good look, is it? No. <laughs> I need to really get it up on the turntable now. Yeah. Right, we'll dry that and then we'll get a bit more blood and then we're done. Right, that can be ready to go into the kiln for its final firing, its ghost firing. Right. So, when this comes out the kiln, that's the finished job. That's the finished job, yeah, that's the last of it now. Just, just to raise it to its temperature. But 
as with all ceramics, it's you're not guaranteed until it actually comes out of the kiln. Right. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. And usually does with pottery, so. Let's put it in then. You're right. Okay. Take it. Get it in the kiln. Exactly on, to, on cue, yeah, yeah. So, this is it. Yeah, let's check the temperature. Yeah, room temperature. Everything's safe to uh, I'm gonna do the honours. I'll lift the lid in. Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that. As it turned out, as it Go normally, on, you never know with ceramics. Oh, what? That's fantastic. You take it out. Is it cold? Well, touch it. Oh, yeah. Bring your finger off. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit warm. There we are. Look at that. Look at the colours and the blood. Yeah, the reds have come out quite quite good. I'm pleased yeah. with those. You're the only person in the country that could do that, I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. There's some skill pots out there. That is fantastic. It's fantastic. I love it. Mm. Love it. <laughs> good, good. Let's go. Right, let's go.